So uh, this defense, what a year last year. Lots of returners, but the safety group, that's where some of the question marks are going. So tell me, uh, how are these safeties coming along? Uh, coming along great. You know, we got Dakota and Moose. You know, those are the two guys that I look up to. You know, those guys are the starters right now. You know, I'm right behind them. Me, Fur, Keelan, you know. I say I'm probably about like, you know, the youngest, so I'm probably playing a little bit of, uh, little brother role in the group, you know. Always joking around and stuff like that. You know, I'm still serious and stuff, but, you know, everybody's got their role. Moose is kind of like the, you know, the just the old head in the group, and, you know, he's been here a long time, you know. Finally got his chance to start, you know, stuff like that. You know, he's retro senior. Cody's coming off a good year, playing big corner and stuff like that, and, you know. I came off special teams, played a little bit. Purdue, Troy, and... Uh, and Rutgers, so you know we all got a little bit of experience. So we're just all looking forward to the season, you know, just looking forward to contributing any way we can, help this defense be uh, good as it was last year. Now, what is the mindset that you guys kind of take? Because I'm sure, you know, if you, you may not pay attention to the media and all that, but I'm sure you, everyone knows that. You know, look at the linebacker group, how many people are coming back there in the line in the corners, and you guys are the new guys. Do you talk about that at all? They're like, hey, we chip on our shoulder. You don't talk about that. You know, what are those discussions like? You know, everybody just get better every day. You know, it's just take a step. You know, we're a young group, you know, I think, and then just get a little bit better every day. We're not going to come out be perfect. You know, just work on our one thing, get better at that one thing, and tomorrow have another thing, and after that have another thing. Just get 1% better every day, you know, stuff like that. You know, Koda works on his stuff. Let's say he has to work on some one day. He wants to hit that. Moose might want to hit, you know, something in the post. I might want to work some, you know, stay low on my pedal a little bit. You know, just everybody has their little personal thing, and then he calls. If you mess on up, last practice, you want to get it right. This practice, and so on, so on. Now, you guys aren't the only new thing about the secondary. Coach Leonard's coming in here, not only a new coach here. This is his first time coaching. So now we've been through this five of these practices and uh, spring camp. Give me the lowdown on Coach Leonard. What kind of coach is he? Uh, what can we expect? him to do for you guys? Coach Leonard is definitely a player's coach, you know, saying he's, I think, a year removed from NFL, and he's been playing for a long time, and, you know, he's got a player perspective on things, and, you know, he's just, uh, you can talk with him and stuff. It's like, it's just more of like, he's more, uh, like, he's just like down to earth. I'm not saying he's going more down to earth, but he's down to earth, you know, you can talk to him, like, if you see something, you can bring it up to him, stuff like that, and, you know, our coaches really like that, but, you know, it's just, him being like the guy, just I think it's just better because he's only a year removed from playing. So he, I think he understands just a little bit more. Last one I got for you today, the first day of full pads. Is this when it kind of becomes like, okay, boys, you know, it's here. We're really starting to play some football now. And it's like that every day, you know. On Sunday, it's like, all right, yeah, it's time for camp. Monday, it's like, all right, time to, you know, play some real football. Monday, <laughs> all right, we got uh, our Wednesday, all right, yeah, we got the pads on, yeah, yeah. And then we do two days a all right, now we got full pads. You know, it's just, it, it's just a step. It's like the final step of like, yeah, football's here. And watch, like, I don't know, we have a scrimmage sometime. Like, all right, now it's for real football. <laughs> just every step. And then when we get into like LSU prep, all right, now it's really football and stuff like that. So it's like every every step, it's kind of like, get you just that much amped. That's totally true. All right, yeah. We, and we totally do that. We're like, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I can hold this. You want me to hold it? No, I can do it. I can do it. All right. All right. First off, you know, obviously uh, nothing has been anointed, but it sure looks like you have one of these two starting roles. Um, I mean, how does that feel? You know, it's, it's been a bit, it's been a bit of a road for you. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, going into my senior year, uh, it's just one of those things where uh, we're trying to learn that, you know, from the experience that I've got under different guys. You know, whether it's Des Southward, Shelton Johnson, uh, Mike Caputo, Tanner McAvoy, um, it's one of those things where I try to take techniques that they taught me and help mentor the younger guys. Obviously, we got a we got a lot of guys in the room, you know, Sojourn, Arrington, DT, um, you know, Dakota's got a lot of experience, so we try to help those younger guys come along, and um, it's, it's been a good camp so far. So these safeties on this defense, I think it's it's pretty unanimous that, that that's where the question marks are, just because of experience of who's coming back and the amount of playing time you guys have gotten, and the linebackers, how much playing time they've gotten, there's been a ton. You guys don't have that much, so how is that group coming along? And, what are the expectations that you have of the safety group? You know, it's one of those things that, that that's kind of what the, the whole outside, you know, the media, and it's kind of subjective because to us, um, you know, we hear that a lot and we kind of put a chip on our shoulder. Obviously, we, we learned under some great guys. Um, Mike and Tanner were both great players, um, but we have guys that have experience and 
are eager and young and um, just excited to get after it. Do you, is there any sense of pressure for, for this year's defense to get back to where they were last year, or is it an expectation of any kind? I mean, how do you feel about uh, last year's defense heading into this season? You know, I don't think the players really look at it like, um, you know, as a thing of pressure or trying to think about last year, because last year's last year. Um, we're a new team, we're a new defense, got a new defensive coach, and I think one of the the big advantages to us is um, just as a unit we kind of gel together um, and, and we try to make practice fun and we try to carry that over to the game and um, I, I think that's that's one of the best things about our unit is we all gel really well together and um, we have fun and communicate out there so it's it's been really well. How about uh, you know obviously the safety group like you said put in new people but how about the coach not only do you have a new secondary coach this is his first time coaching you've now been through the spring been through the pads, five practices here. What's the lowdown on Coach Leonard? What kind of coach is he? You know, tell us uh, what's going on in that, in that room. I mean, he's a beast, man. Uh, everything that that man says, everybody's listening. Um, doesn't matter if we're in a team meeting, um, we're in the DB meeting, it can be downstairs and he's just joking around. Everybody's listening, um, trying to absorb something, take something from it. You know, a 10 year NFL vet, a guy who's a three time All American. Um, you know, at, at my position and, you know, safety position, it's it's just one of those things that he, he's been awesome to have. Um, you know, they're, they're, he doesn't have to do a whole lot of yelling because guys are listening. Um, he doesn't have to give a, a whole bunch of motivational speeches, which he, I mean, he does. He, he gets everybody amped up to go, but he's not one of those guys that needs to do that just because of who he is and the experience that he has. That's what I have for you, uh, especially as safeties. You know, I've seen you, you get to seem like a guy that likes to hit full pads on today, is that kind of like a, all right, we're ready to go type of thing, or is it not that big of a deal? How do you look at that? Yeah, anytime that you get pads on, uh, you know, everybody's eager, especially full pads. We, we were half pack, um, you know, yesterday and the day, day before, but anytime you get full pads on, especially as a defensive player, um, you know, I think I can speak for everybody. We, we kind of get eager to, to get after it. Um, you know, obviously, coach let us go live a little bit, and we just eat that up, man. We get really excited for it. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. Oh my God. We got it. We got it. We got it. I am sorry. Short yeah, leg. Short good. leg. I'll keep a hand on it. Thanks. That happened to see the ones that went down off the. Uh... Yeah, we got nice equipment here. At 27. There we go. Cool. All right, that didn't happen. going but it sure looks like you have one of these uh, starting safety spots uh, what is uh, what's that group looking like so far you know Tanner and Michael are gone uh, yeah. how do you think everyone's coming along um, I think everyone's coming along fine um, obviously the young guys was freshmen that's coming in so it's uh, having to really get all on the same page as a unit not just as uh, you know ones or twos or the guys who've been here in the past but just uh, being on the same page as a unit. Um, it's, it's been going good, though. It's definitely been fun. Now, how has your role changed? Because I assume, I was yeah. in the room last year, but I assume that, you know, Michael and Tanner were some of the guys that were yeah. like, hey, yo, look at this, look at this, look at this. Are you doing that now? Are you and Leo doing that now? How's that work? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Um, uh, definitely stepped into that role of being more of a leader rather than being, a, uh, uh, I guess, a, a freshman, so to speak. Uh, last year was my first year at safety, so um, I'm, I'm still learning myself, though. You know, uh, me and Musso communicate very well, Arrington as well, and uh, uh, Ferg, we, we do a good job of communicating, um, just trying to be consistent. You know, I think that's the biggest thing right now is just trying to be consistent and just kind of uh, find that rhythm. Is there, is there pressure for you guys to have to get back to what this defense was a year ago, or is that in the past and this is kind of a new team this year? Um, I wouldn't say it's pressure. Uh, there's no pressure. Uh, obviously, if, you, if we make it pressure, it'll be pressure, you know, but if we just come out and play like we've been practicing for, you know, however many months it's been, uh, I think we'll be just fine. You know, I don't think it's a matter of pressure. I think it's a matter of just being communicative and just being on the same page. So. 
especially in the beginning of the season, and I, I'm sure you would agree, it's not a dig, but the other teams, LSU, they're going to say, they're going to look at the linebackers, they know them from last year in the D-line and the corners, and they're probably going to test you guys early on. Are you expecting some shots uh, until you guys uh, are like that early on in the season? I'm sure they will, you know, just like any other team probably would, uh, new safeties, uh, and that's okay, you know. Uh, um, I think it's just a matter of, you know, for us, like I was saying, just being on the same page. You know, if you know what you're doing, you know, there, there's no, there's nothing to really worry about, you know. So uh, I think we'll be all right. Now, everyone takes it a little differently. When I asked Leo the question, he was like, yeah, you know, we have a little chip on our shoulder because the outside people like us, we are saying that that's the main question mark on yeah. the defense. How do you look at it? Do you just not care or do you do the chip on the shoulder thing? Like, how does it go up um, in your head? Nah, there, there's definitely, I would definitely agree with Muso. Uh, there's definitely a chip. I don't think there's a question about that, you know. Uh, obviously, I understand that people have a job too, so I don't really try to feed into it too much. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more concerned about honing in on my craft and being a better football player. So, uh, but I, I mean, I got a chip on my shoulder anyway. So, I wouldn't really say it's even because of that. You know, it's just you know I'm trying. To, I think I think I think we all in the in the DV room have a good chip on our shoulders. What about uh, Coach Leonard? You know, you guys, so you guys are a little newer. Then you bring in uh, Jim, who yeah. not only is a new coach here, but has never even coached before. How is right. that all meshing along, and what kind of coach is he? Uh, uh, he's a good coach. He's a, Chris. Uh, he, he's a great coach. Uh, coach Leonard is probably, the, uh, probably one of the, the best coach I've been around, in my opinion. Um, just a, a guy like that, you, it makes you want to play for him. A guy like that makes you want to lay it all out on the line for him, makes you want to, you know, come back and just, you know, you really want to just be coachable for him. You know, that's the type of player you want to be is to just play play your heart out for him. And that's the kind of coaches we have um, as a whole. Um, but I, I, I love Coach Lenny. He's a great guy, very intelligent, very smart, very good coach. Last night I got for you uh, full pads on today as a safety, you know, Sure, you guys like to hit. Is that a big day for you, or is it just another step in the progress? How do you how do you look at that? Um, it's it's definitely a big day. I would say definitely as a team, uh, because you want to set you want to set a tone. You know what I'm saying? Not just for today, but for the rest of camp. You know, we have two days coming up tomorrow. So, um, I think it was definitely a big day for us in total and all as a unit, and uh, <laughs> and uh, putting on the pads. So, yes, I agree.